Okay, what's up guys, it's Dandy Dan here. Happy Easter to everyone. Um, I would show you my face, but for some reason on this phone, I haven't figured out why yet, if I turn the camera one way and start recording, I can't turn it around. So, here you go. So yeah, we're just having a wander around Nine Springs Park. A uh, bit of a general wander around Ye Yeovil, really. Yeah, let's have a bit of a... Just a bit of a pleasant walk together, really. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Uh, the weather here is 20 degrees, but with the... Well, with just how hot it is, it's actually more like 24 degrees. Oh, I've got a... Got a well, it's not a burrow, it's some, some idiot. It's obviously kicked it, I was tripped on it. I thought it was going to be a badger or, badger or rabbit or fox. having a nice nice walk around now you wonder why I'm walking down I took a different route to get in uh, but we'll go for a walk around I don't know why I put I twizzled my finger but behind the camera so you can't see shit but yeah let's have a nice walk um, I was going to try and do this live stream but YouTube being the uh, asshole that it is basically said no your channel's not eligible blah 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 so, I won't be doing it live, because I can't. Ouch. So, we're just having a wander. Looking up to the wooden throne. It's like a big hand. Would you like to sit on their hand? Yeah, this place is great. I mean, it was... Oh, what was I reading about? Uh, the Alden Estate. Basically built it as like a pleasure gardens. Not in that way, you dirty-minded individuals. And, yeah, it was open to the public. And a lot of it's still the same. But we'll go for a wander. I won't go back up to the top just yet. I'll uh, rummage around. We could start from the bottom. We'll just come back that way. We'll go this way. We'll, take, we'll keep the scenic. It's a beautiful time to come. There's a lot of people around, but that doesn't matter. Oh, there you go. There's a there's a burrow. Could be for badgers. Could be for foxes. It wouldn't be a burrow then if it was a. What do badgers live in? Is it a den? No, foxes den. But badgers must live in a burrow. I know rabbits are warrens. Yeah, it's definitely a fox's den. I'm not sure about a badger. I've come across quite a few in Yeovil actually lately. And um, one morning when I was travelling, well, not, not when I was travelling, uh, I got out my house to um, yeah, another one. Got out my house to go to work, and uh, I could hear this sort of like scratchy noise as I was outside. Turned round, really badger stood staring at me. Soon run a bloody mile when it saw me. Oh. Yeah, it's a lovely time to come, you know. There's still a, a lot of old trees still not with leaves, a lot of new leaves coming through. Yeah, beautiful. I'd love to I'd love to hear about walks and country parks and stuff near you, especially if you're in the UK. If you're in the UK and you know somewhere really nice and scenic to go, uh, drop me a comment because I'd I'd love to come and explore it and uh, you know and video it like this. Uh, I know the Bluebell Forest will be in bloom very shortly, so I'll probably go down there one weekend. Um, where else in a minute? Too early for the lavender fields. Uh, but yeah, as summer approaches, things just get really beautiful. So yeah, a lot of this used to be all daffodils, but the daffodils is of course all gone now. A lot of tulips out now, but there's no tulips that grow up here. But, yeah, it's a nice area. Unfortunately, every so often you can still hear the roads. But, you know, you just have to learn to ignore that and just listen to nature. But yeah, we'll have a good old walk anyway and we'll, uh, we'll see what we can see, if anything, and what we can hear. Oh, got robined. I don't quite know how's best to approach these videos, whether you want me to just shut up and walk. Uh, it's the first time I've actually done one like this. 
That's whether you want me to shut up and just walk and listen to the sounds, or whether you want me to keep talking as well, and sort of narrating what's about. But I don't mind either way. I'll do a bit now, I'm just kind of being generally quiet, and I'll uh, let me know which one you prefer. We will go up that way, but there's an information board here. Yeah, the Batten family transformed it into formal pleasure gardens. Wildflowers. It's just a nice bit of information. Oh, let's carry on. So what we'll do is we'll go up all the way to the end, and then we'll come back down by the uh, by the spring, and that'll call for a lovely walk. Incidentally, this park is actually really good for Pokemon Go because um, you've got two gyms down there and about almost a dozen Pokestops that way and the fact that there's four Pokestops just up on that hill great place to go, plan a route, do a big circuit by the time you get back to the beginning they're ready to go again Of course, it being Easter and the weather being lovely, there's a lot of people around walking, which is nice.
such a nice place to be going with very inquisitive kids. One day, when I have my own kids, I'd love to take them to places like this. So they can ask me all these questions and learn to appreciate nature. The problem is, people are such glue to their phones so much nowadays and to their media that they they forget to sometimes just stop and appreciate beauty. The natural world is so beautiful that people just don't have time anymore. I mean, sure, I love technology like the next person. You know, I built this tiny channel on gaming for a good couple of years. But it's nice sometimes to just come and get lost in nature. You know? This woodland was planted in commemoration of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, 20th of February, 2012. Oh. What woods? This woodland was planted. What? This one? Oh, cool. It's growing well, considering it's been... No, it's been seven years, I suppose. But one thing they do here as well is they keep... A lot of the logs that have fallen and the trees that have fallen, they keep... They keep the woodlands because um, it gives a great home for the insects. So like the wood lice and the uh, the beetles and stuff, they love under under logs. So they just keep take it out the, off the road or the path. A lot of people don't know. We'll probably have to walk past them shortly. And yes, anyone that's got a short attention span won't enjoy these sort of videos because uh, they want to see explosions, you know, they want to see a UFO suddenly swoop down or zombies come swarming towards me or coming out of the ground, some other locusts or something. But you know what I have to say to you about that? You can go watch something else. I'm having a nice walk with people that actually appreciate nature. So this land over there, that belongs to the Olden Estate. With the permit you can go right up to the top and you can see over Yeovil and you can see there's loads of rabbits. I might do it, just to see, I haven't got a permit though. Uh, there's actually, they usually um, graze cattle up here. I had uh, an incident the other evening when I was walking along here and uh, a load of cows started coming down a hill towards me. And uh, I was like, uh, I'm sure they don't mean anything until the bull started uh, Walking a bit quicker. That concerned me a little.
Yes, so uh, that's that, that that sort of uh, mosaic on the floor. It was the uh, a phoenix. Um, I don't know a lot about it actually. It's not a lot of information, but uh, I'd imagine it's just because that's where the source of one of the springs is. So it, I guess it's to symbolise life. Well, I don't really know. I think you know, look into it as much as you want. Uh, but yeah, I didn't. There weren't a signboard there, so I couldn't tell you a lot about it. You are a tiny, tiny bird. You're like a baby robin. Get a better view. See a lot of these stones are the originals. Oh, so beautiful. There's all these just little, it connects in so many different ways, all these little steps and these little pathways and these little nooks and crannies. It's quite cool to look at, to be honest. You know, you go up on these little windy paths and you go, oh, it leads here. It's like this, look at this. This doesn't even look like the UK. It's like some sort of Tibetan temple. Like some ancient waterways, like something like Diablo. Look at that. Just these, yeah, just these little channels. Beautiful. I believe this is grotto number five. Just ignore the tissue. So peaceful. Yeah, and everyone's out today taking people on dates and just having romantic walks, and it's nice. I would be if I had someone to take them romantically. You know, it's nice to have someone to go on a romantic date with, go for a walk in this sort of weather, you know, hold hands. It's sweet. Yeah, I, I just love the way the tr you know the trees kind of come out, literally come out of the side of the hills, and their roots are just so intricate. But you know, the old and the Batten family did a really good job trying to make it look ancient and look mystical. Right. 
looking at. I think that weird orange mushroom thing that was in the water back there, I think that was a pumpkin. Not quite sure what that's doing there. Let's say it's just these little little channels, I mean that's not got a lot in it, it's trickling. Just dribbling through. So say we could go up there but the path doesn't take you right down by the by the spring, so it's better to come down here really and just enjoy it. <clears throat> and I'll definitely be getting an ice cream when I'm done. Definitely getting an ice cream. I think I've earned an ice cream. I can fit in my blue suit now, as I said on my salad video yesterday. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good. I look fat, but less fat. 20% less fat. <laughs> I would turn the camera around and show you my outfit, but unfortunately I don't know how to turn the bloody camera around. So I won't. Let's just... You forget that there's a massive town just behind you, really. Anyone who's wondering what I'm using to record this, uh, it's actually the um, uh, Huawei P20 Pro, the, the smartphone. Uh, I did look between all three of them, the you know the iPhone, whatever, Samsung Galaxy, and this one. Uh, this one was the cheapest. This one has the best camera out of any phone on the market. So I preferred it. Uh, the Samsung is actually best for screen resolution, it's got the best screen resolution out of all three phones, and the iPhone has that really, really, really crap emojify your face, and they want an extra maybe £25 a month for it. So it was obvious where I was going to go with that. I love photography, I love videos, so I went for the camera one. And I didn't fancy forking out a stupid amount of money per month for a phone that does nothing more than these. In fact, my friend bought that updated iPhone and complains about the camera a lot compared to mine. So, you know, that's their fault for trying to fork out nearly 30 quid a month extra when they should have done their homework. It's so, so beautiful here. And, you know, the, the volunteers and the rangers here do an amazing job trying to keep, you know, a lot of the rubbish away. You know, they're, they're, of course, humans litter. They always will, because humans have absolutely no respect for the environment they work in. But they do a good job trying to clean it. I've not seen a good stick race in a while. <laughs> <laughs> we had one that came through rapidly, the other one never, never appeared. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Winnie the Pooh's got a lot to answer for. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless. So I used to do that when I was a kid, when I was um, still back in Lincolnshire in the Fens. Used to, uh, used to get a stick, make them the same length, drop them both into the into the dike or the river and uh, see how, see who's went under the bridge first. But there's a thing though, when, you know, when people feel relaxed, they feel happy, the weather's nice, the walk's beautiful, scenery's nice, they're enjoying themselves, people are just so much friendlier. 
you know, it's the thing that people forget when they're in cities. They're so busy trying to get, you know, oh, I need to go here now, I need to go see this, I need to do that, I need to jump on the tube, I need to get on the underground, the metro, wherever you're from. Jump on a bus, jump on a jeepney, jump on a tuk-tuk, whatever. They forget sometimes to just stop and just look around. I mean, even in the middle of a city, there is nature. you just got to look for it. And the problem is, people are so busy rushing from A to B and looking at their looking at their feet and looking at the ground and looking like that, like tunnel vision, that they don't see the rest of the world. You know, I look at my feet. Oh yeah, tree roots. Oh, that's interesting. Where's the tree? Well, they don't care. The tree is actually probably one of these. Loads of them. Look, all those. And they don't see that. No, it, I mean, yeah, nettles. Ooh, we don't like nettles. We don't like weeds, but it's natural beauty. If we weren't here, this is how it would probably look. I mean, look at this tree. It's still alive. This tree is still growing. But look. hollow. How can it be hollow? Well, how's it going to get all the nutrients? Well, to quote Dr. Ian Malcolm, life uh, finds a way. That was not an Ian Malcolm impression. I was just, I don't know why I said it like that. But, you know, it's growing. It's growing leaves. It's still alive. You know, nature is incredible. And that's why I love it. You know, that tree has basically been gutted. It has no no guts. But it's alive. It's happy. It's so beautiful. Use wooden steps. Well, there's some stone there, I guess. See, it's stuff like this, like that waterway path and stuff, that I'd love to replicate in Minecraft. Uh, I do play on a Pixelmon server. I don't stream it anymore because my internet's shite. But you know, I do, I do play it. Um, if you want to, if you want to join me on it, drop me a comment. But yeah, you know, I just enjoy it. But I'd love to build something like that, but I'm by far a bad builder. So far it's just got a cobblestone wall around it. beautiful living in those sort of houses because they back onto this place they've even got tiered, a tiered garden that's cool here we go, we'll go look at the ducks and then we'll call it there so this is a no dog zone
You know, these swans actually come back every year to nest here. And in fact, has uh, eggs underneath her. Black one's not a duck, that's a crow. Let's see if anyone can spot the heron inside that tree. Hmm? Can you see it? in them trees. The heron just stood waiting for the fish. <laughs> if you're lucky sometimes when you're not when you're not nearby you'll see water voles running around they're like little mice. So it's such a beautiful area. There's a more hen. Beep, beep. Oh, it's stuck. There we go. Find his way down. There we go. Of course complete the day with a lovely trip to the to the child's play area especially if you have a child if you don't have a child it's a bit awkward this one the stream keeps going The ice cream van's gone. I guess I won't be having an ice cream today. It's such a beautiful place to come. goes back up to the road one way or we can walk walk along the path to um actually there's a pathway beside the stream that takes to the to the cinema which is quite nice it's just just nice how it all connects it's nice to walk this route don't do it at night there are no lights no street lights or anything of the sort so don't come here at night time because you probably will hurt yourself 
It's actually quite low at the minute. Look at all the sediment. You know, on a normal day, this thing's flowing quite hard. But, well, that's that's it from me anyway. Uh, if you enjoyed this, drop me a comment. You know, tell me about places that you know. Maybe there's a place nearby you want me to go and look at or you want a video with. You know. But, yeah, like this video. Subscribe to me. Drop me comments. If you want to play my uh, pick some more Minecraft with me, uh, drop me a message. Uh, I do have Discord, but my voice call on it is atrocious at the minute. Uh, mainly because my internet's atrocious. But yeah, well, take it easy, guys. Happy Easter, and uh, I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.